Hey, hi everybody. Welcome back to Messy Church. Today, you've got me, Sarah, and later there's Alan and Hannah joining us to do crafts and music, but also I've brought a special friend with me. Do you want to meet him? Here he is. His name's Hamley. He's my favourite bear. And today, Hamley's going to be helping me at Messy Church. We're going to be looking what happened next in the Easter story, how Jesus surprised even more of his friends, and how it was his hands that helped reassure his followers and friends and help them see that the good news was real. So there's going to be lots of hands in today's messy church. How about your hand, Hamley? Thank you. Do you want to high five us? Yeah. Good high five there, Hamley. Well, anyhow, let's start today with our Bible story and then we can explore all the ideas with lots of hand action. Off we go to the story. In the days after the sad thing had happened and Jesus had died, Jesus' friends were hiding away because they were scared and they were sad. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in front of them and he spoke to them. He said, peace be with you, my friends. They were really surprised. They were surprised and they were puzzled. Was this a ghost? Were they imagining things? Or was Jesus really alive? Well, Jesus showed them his hands. They touched his hands. They saw the scars from when he had died. And their sadness turned to amazement and happiness because they realized the best thing ever had really happened. Jesus was alive. In today's story, Jesus showed his disciples his hands to prove to them that they could trust him and rely on him. So this week, we thought we would make some artwork using our hands. I'll show you what we've done in case you want to have a go at doing something similar at home. So you might like to make yourself a handprint by painting your hand and printing it onto a piece of paper. Obviously this, this is not my handprint, um, but it's a really good, fun and messy way to use your hands to make art, no matter how big or small you are. Or perhaps you'd like to draw around your hand and decorate it however you like. We went for rainbow colours. Or if you want to give yourself a pair of hands, and what we did to make this was to draw around a hand, fill it in with lots of paint, and then fold the paper in half, give it a good press, and there we are, a pair of hands. We also decorated ours with lots of sequins to make it sparkly. So perhaps you'd like to have a go this week at making art using your hands. And as you do so, maybe you can think about the people that you're relying on at the moment. It might be your family, Maybe it's your friends or your neighbours. And when you've finished your piece of art, when you look at it, it could be a reminder to you that you can rely on Jesus as well. Okay, Hamley, can you help me today for our fidget activity? You can. Brilliant. For our fidget activity, we're going to give a challenge to some of the other people in the house. We're going to see if they can use their hands and guess what's hidden in the boxes. You could go and find things around the house, hide them in a box and see if people can guess what they are. Let's show you what we mean. Come on, Hamley. Time to go and find some things and hide them. Right, so I've been around the house, I've found a few things, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. And now I've got a box and if you look, a hole in the end of it you don't need to do that you could just have people putting their hands in the lid but there's my hole and then what I'm going to do so there really is no peeping I'm going to cover it with a tea towel and I'm going to ask the others in the house to feel through that hole and see what's in the box okay Dave you'll go first use your hands to find out what's in the box <laughs> I'm guessing it's some kind of animal, possibly a, 
a furry, cuddly animal. Oh. I have no idea what kind though. Let's have a look. It's, yes, my bear, Hamley. Excellent. Next one. Okay, your turn, Min. Come and have a feel. Use your hands. What's in the box? Is it an orange? Let's have a look. Take it out. Yay! Okay, another go for you now, Mim. What's in the box? See what you can feel. They're quite hard and quite crunchy, like beads. Oh, are they beads, do you think? Should we have a look? Oh, they're not beads! They're some cereal! Oh, hard luck, Mim. Nearly right. Okay, and last go. Your turn now, Dave. What can you feel in the box? <laughs> Cold and <laughs> beany. Oh, let's like something I would cook in the kitchen at Messy Church. Shall we have a look? Let's have a look. Oh, lovely. Yummy. You look at that. <laughs> Some baked beans. <laughs> Better go and wash your hands now, Dave. Bye. Time now for a song. And look at this. Hamley has got his hands on a shaker that we made after last week's messy church where Hannah suggested making some. Listen to it. Yep, yeah, looks like Hamley and I are ready to join in with Alan and today's song, My Lighthouse. So go and grab some shakers and see if you can join in and dance too. We're gonna sing My Lighthouse. Here we go. Okay, Hamley. So you're going to sit there and listen as we think about our story. We've heard today of how Jesus surprised his friends. And when they saw him, when they got to touch and see his hands, they were reassured that the best thing ever had happened. I wonder, what do you do with your hands? Do you make things with them? Do you clap them? Do you sometimes tickle your family with them? There are lots of things you can do with your hands. Do you ever look at your hands? If I look at mine, I can see that I've got scars on my hands from when I fell off my bike quite a while ago. My hands remind me of things that have happened. When Jesus' friends looked at Jesus' hands, they saw some scars. They saw the scars of the really sad thing that had happened, the sad thing of him dying on the cross. But there he was, stood in front of them, and they could touch and hold his hands. It was amazing, because remember, the sad thing had turned into the best thing ever. And Jesus was there now, with his friends, showing them the best thing ever has happened. Come on, 
have a look at my hands. They remind you of what has happened and they show that I'm alive now. Seeing Jesus touching his hands changed the disciples' worlds. I wonder, can we use our hands to make things better, to change things for people? Maybe at the moment it's about drawing pictures, putting them in the window and cheering people up as they go past on their exercise. Maybe it's about using our hands to make contact with people, people that we don't see much these days, but maybe using the screens, maybe writing letters. We can make contact and make them smile. Maybe we could even use our hands to help us think about God. Sometimes when I pray and chat to God, I open my hands up like this to say, God, here I am, help me. Sometimes I move my hands like this to remind me that Jesus, you love me and that you're with me always. Sometimes I do this with my hands because, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, I've done things so wrong. And I use my hands to say to God, I'm really sorry. I can use my hands to talk to God. Just like Jesus used his hands to show the disciples that the best thing ever had happened. I wonder what can you do with your hands this week? So, hooray for our hands. Hooray for the best thing ever. And hooray, because it's time now for the grace. Come on, Hamley. You're going to help me this time. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.